What is going on guys, Mobile Carry News here, and I'm going to do this quick video basically talking about how um, with Verizon's current plan I've been affected. Uh, I honestly think I've been affected. So what is so I've been working a lot lately, you know, again, back to the work to the working and you know, I still use a lot of data. I use my phone sometimes during work, sometimes, you know, on break, even after, you know, I, I, I don't even like using Wi-Fi, but now I have to use Wi-Fi because, you know, even after have, passing the 50 gigabyte cap, I get slowed down pretty bad and it's just really bad in general. And, um, and lately I've tried to go over, but it looks like, um, lately it's been happening is there's not like still like not enough well not a lot of bandwidth not a lot of 5g to go around with the service but i think i'm getting more i think i'm getting more bandwidth now because 5g is increasing i'm getting more 5g service signal in in, in other areas like the beach how, how i never had and i'm just going to show you um how much data i've been using now um you can just disregard you can just disregard uh, disregard the the whole stock that you're about to see basically my portfolio um, just, just, so you know, so some stocks I'm, you know, investing in, not really a big deal down 1%, you know, I just, I just buy more, but, uh, here's the whole data. Um, it says you're good on data. I've used 26.59 gigabytes of data. Now keep in mind a, a few months back, like two, three months ago, I was trying to use all up the day all my, all my data up. And it seemed like Verizon was slowing me down on purpose. Like I haven't even gone over my 50 gig, uh, gigabytes of data limit, and I try to use a massive amount of data: YouTube, um, Twitter, uh, Netflix, and you know Hulu, and you know Disney Plus. And I seem to be slowed down very much, very, uh, very um, exponentially, and it's just it's just kind of shocker. But with five more with more 5G bandwidth coming along. With Verizon, I think it's finally starting to ease up. Like I'm pretty sure the service is like recognizing there's more data to use, so we just let them use more data. Like you, like you don't have to, like basically like we don't have to worry about because there's no bandwidth because there can be a lot of data, a lot of data usage. So Verizon is lacking with a lot of data because they have millions of customers, and also they just they just need to bring a new unlimited data plan. I really think they should bring up a new unlimited data plan sooner than later with C band. Now I have been talking with one of my subscribers. Um, there might not be C band available this year. Um, for his in his opinion, he's not seeing it. In my opinion, I'm the kind of not seeing it too, but I'm I am pretty skeptical uh, skeptical of it. I do believe C band will come around, but like at the end of the year, like probably December um, December maybe twenty second or something if not well then and if then c-band has to come out in january or february it's just a big lack if they don't come out with uh c-band in december because they they, they pretty much promised are uh, the verizon uh consumers like me and everyone else who's with verizon that oh we're gonna come out with c-band in december or the fall of 20 or winter you know fall winter whatever of 2021 and they have to basically have to fulfill the promise because they've been basically marketing that. They, they've basically been saying the service is going to get better with C-Band. And as I honestly hope so. And with C-Band, um, hopefully a new limited data plan comes out. Um, I, I feel like there won't be a new unlimited data plan until 2023. That's my guess. Um, here's the thing. If that's the case, I don't mind. I could still use a lot of data. Hey, I'm deprioritized. That's fine. I'm slowed down. That's totally fine with me. But the thing is, if they won't come out with a new unlimited data plan since 2023, I'm not going to switch from Verizon. You know, I'll probably I'll probably get a second, you know, cellular device to do speed test on AT&T because I want to see how AT&T is improving with their service with 5G, NLTE and all that stuff and see how they're doing with their new unlimited data plan. But if that's the case with Verizon, then Verizon, it feels like Verizon's not going to not going to be the not going to be the best unlimited carrier. It it's it sounds like T-Mobile and AT&T will be beating them to the curb of unlimited for two years unless they come out with a new unlimited data plan this coming year, which I don't really see that happening. And I can't I don't blame them because they 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 don't have a lot of bandwidth. They have they need to keep upgrading towers. They have more 3G tower sites than LTE and 5G combined. So hopefully by December of 2022. Once they decommission all those 2G towers into 3G, no, sorry, all those 3G towers into 4G, 
LTE and 5G networks, maybe, just maybe by early 2023, we might have a new limited data plan. But that's what we're getting so far. That's ba- this is what we're getting so far, basically the case. If they can increase the data cap to 75 or at least 80 megabytes per gigabytes per second, I'm, you know, it'd be better for the consumer. You know, with C-band able to, um, basically, with C-band being able to, like, handle more data usage, I feel like 75 is a good bump up to 50. Because 50, it just, you know, 50 blows it out of the water. But let me know what you guys think about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.